once a chime, a chance of life Of peace on earth, good will to men And the bell fell ringing like um, We are going to start with some congregational singing So if you would go ahead and stand We'll all sing together for a few minutes
next one. Oh, my voice. It's not good. Um, he's going to be playing Joy to the World um, with chords. So I'm going to ask you guys, just as a congregation, we're going to sing this together, uh, Joy to the World. We're just going to do two verses, and I forgot to even tell you to do the words. So hopefully you guys just know it. <laughs> Completely forgot about that aspect, so we'll see how good you are. So we have a few, we're calling them shorts, to go in between some of the special numbers. So for our first short, it's called Don't Get Slapped, and the youth were voluntold to help with this one. So if I could have Carlos and Chris and Austin, where's Chris? Oh, there you go. Austin and Parker, if you guys would join me on the stage. If you guys have seen the viral, we're going to try and not be messy up here. And uh, if you've seen the videos going around, a little viral, we have something called a tortilla slap. And the boys were warned that we're not, the goal is not to knock anybody out tonight. <laughs> but we'll see if that happens. So they are going to compete. We have Carlos versus Parker on this side. Austin and Chris are going to go at it over here, and then the winners will play in the winner's circle. And tonight, they are playing for peppermint bark hot chocolate bombs. So, we're playing for. Now you guys know how this works. I'm going to give you each a cup of water. And <laughs> the goal, and I think what we'll do, I think what we'll do is we'll let them both go at the same time, each side, and whoever loses their water first is out. Yeah. Is that enough? I have another bottle. It's probably, it's hard enough. It's easier to laugh with lots. It's easier to laugh with lots? Okay, then you need more. <laughs> we don't want any unfair advantages. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess what we'll do is let you guys go at it. And uh, rock, paper, scissors. You got to drink your water and then you can set it down. And then, um, well, let's just see how it goes. <laughs> No, Parker, Wait, keep it in your mouth. Don't drink it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so stand so the congregation can see you side to side. And yeah, you know, the towel's there just for show. <laughs>
To move this along, whoever wins the next rock, paper, scissor will move on to the winner's round. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are doing really good. <laughs> Christina, who did this song last year, but the batteries and the mics were dead, so nobody heard it. <laughs> so we're doing it again.
There's one simple hearing hack anyone can use to improve their hearing almost overnight. Did you know this? Okay, so the, the point of this game is to get through the line as many times as you can without making a sound. Um, so if you would all bear a calf, we are going to put some nice rubber bands behind those shiny white legs. <laughs> it plays a lot of pickleball. You would go ahead and... And we'll, we might have to have the congregation vote on the winner at the end of this. Now, if you, if you squawk when you're being flipped, then the guy behind you gets to flip you again. 
What? So, yeah. <laughs> so the way this works is we're going to stand in, a, you're going to stand in a single file line, and the guy behind you gets to oh. flip you. So oh. keep in mind that the stronger you are on the guy in front of you, the guy behind oh, you wait. is watching. Oh, wait. What's that? Do I get a copy? Well, you, once you pass, you get to oh. go back here. No. No. So, no squawking. No. Ben, you're up. Oh, I got you get started. So much better at home. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Did we have any other volunteers? Okay. All right. You guys out I think you might need to go a little bit higher on the cat. I think it needs a little more sense. <laughs> We'll go two rounds, and if we don't have a winner, I'm sorry. This don't worry, guys. Everybody gets to participate. Oh, <laughs> this is Yeah, you gotta have your lips all around that that duck. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Last one, and then we're gonna get some ladies up here. Okay, well we'll give these guys a break. Ladies want to try this game. You gotta hear what this sounds like. <laughs> Anybody want to give it a girl? Actually, Okay. <laughs> Up. On your character, Billy, you know, Maybe on the back side of your arm, then, Dave. The chicken cannot come out of your mouth. Oh, the lips around. And you have to keep your face. <laughs> 
for the congregation. Jacob is going to help me fill this out. Um, we're going to ask... There you go. Uh, we're going to ask you to do an ad lib later. And so we're going to collect a series of, of uh, words from you guys um, to tell our story. So the first word that we need from you is a type of dessert. Pie. Pie. Pecan pie. That's it. That's it. Oh. We're looking for something really. Let's go for news. Pepper news? Done. How do you spell that? Pepper news. Pepper. Okay. Well, this is your. Pepper news. Pepper news. That was good. I don't know. You might have to make that at some point. Uh, how about a silly word? Pepper <laughs> news. Oh, mix it up. Lava what, what was that? Cur what? Kerfuffle. Kerfuffle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cur 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 we know this was a spelling test. <laughs> <laughs> These are all your words, so that's what it would be. Um, another word for father? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Potter. Potter. Yeah, Potter. Potter. Okay, how do you? Okay. Potter. 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 Okay. All right. Um, I need a random year. Nineteen sixty-nine. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's the year I was born. <laughs> I just got out of the army. <laughs> Celebrity name. John Wayne. John Wayne. Anyone else? Let's keep going. Yes. <laughs> Um, okay, a type of plant. 
Something you'd name a pet. Baby. Spot. 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 Fluffy. Oreo. Let's get more, a little more creative. Telemachus. Bingo. What? Telemachus. 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 Name of a band? Transportation. Train. Uh, camel. Motorbike. Camel. 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 <laughs> it's appropriate for the season. <laughs> Give me a holiday. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Appreciate you. We'll be back. Yep. <laughs>
stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long may the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul This is no stranger. We 
into creation with fire for all to see brought every tribe and nation to their knees arriving with the host of heaven in oil robe and crown the rulers of the earth all bow down you chose me Tongue tied. This is tongue tied. Don't get tongue tied. Okay. My volunteers, uh, Brad and Tim and Joe. Um, 
Yes, we need to give away the prize. Don't be so good at this that it doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to borrow a mic. So the, the name of the game is Don't Get Tongue Tied, but we really, really, really want you to. Oh, I so, no problem? Okay. We're going to start with Kim. She'll lead the way. And I've got a series of tongue twisters that I'm going to give you guys. We're going to start off easy. Um, the point is to be we? the fastest one to say the tongue twister without twisting up your tongue. <laughs> so, yeah, so what's the prize? They want to know oh, what oh, it's a pot of gold. A pot of gold, literally, pot of gold. <laughs> it's a caramel collection assorted chocolates, dark milk chocolate, all good stuff. This is really good. This is worth, worth fighting for. Um, so lead the way, discuss. What's that? And then they say the same way? Yes, you're going to pass the, the mic and the paper, and we're going to see who can... Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. I glasses for this. <laughs> You're going to need them, though. <laughs> I scream, you scream, we scream. <laughs> oh, I scream. <laughs> oh, I should have had my glasses on. Yeah, you should. Maybe you should. <laughs> I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay. All right. Congregation have a winner in mind. We'll vote later. All right, we're going to... We're going to... Yep. Yeah, pressure's on. Going down. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could ch chuck wood. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ooh. All right. We can't talk that fast. That's what makes this fun. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> I, there's no way. Peter Piper picked a pick a pick pe, pickle pick a pe, pepper. <laughs> See, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck, oh my gosh, where the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Uh, okay, this third place. This, in my mind, is the hardest one, but I'm going to make it a little bit tougher. So we also want to hear this fast, but we want to hear it in your best accent that you have. <laughs> Gotta be English. English. <laughs> Like across the pond, English? Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought better butter, and it was better than the bitter butter. Really? <laughs> what accent are you going to go with? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican. <laughs> Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter <laughs> Betty bought was bitter, so Betty bought better butter and was better than bitter butter. Betty brought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty brought was with it bitter, so Betty bought better butter, it was better than the bitter butter. <laughs> All right, a round of applause for our volunteers. Thank you very much. Now, 
I'm going to hold this over the contestants, and the louder you cheer, that is the winner. So here we go. We're going to start with Joe. Hi. <laughs> well, I, I figure if, uh, if Brad can do whatever kind of talent that was there, I, I, I can come up and, and do this. In fact, my talent tonight is, is talking. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a little bit of stand-up comedy. I'm standing. All right. Um, actually, I would reminisce a little bit about Christmas's past, and because I'm talking, uh, one Christmas that stands out happened about 37 years ago now. It was actually the first Christmas that Janine and I w were together, and uh, that was actually the Christmas that I learned that, that cats can talk. Did, did you know cats can talk? Yeah, they, they do. We, uh, we had our first home. It was a 10 by 50 foot mobile home. We affectionately called it the 50 foot long hallway. All right. And it had a, a master bedroom that was wall to wall queen bed. But the reason I bring that up was in that first home, we heated the whole home with a, a wood stove. And I remember the first night, it was about this time of year, I lit that thing up and we got it hot and we had two cats, two cats. And that, that stove was very hot and one of the cats jumped up onto the stove and all I heard was tss, tss, tss. And the cat never jumped up there again. <laughs> never jumped up there again. However, the second cat never jumped up there. Cats talk. <laughs> they talk. Last year, I, I learned something new about my, my wife. Um, I actually asked her if she would, if she would like a, a diamond necklace for Christmas. And she smiled. She said, nothing would please me more. So I got her nothing. <laughs> this year for Christmas, so that she couldn't stifle my idea, I decided, all right, this is what we're going to do. I got, I got a, a map of the world, uh, the, 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 whole, the whole world on one piece of paper. I put it up. I handed her a dart, and I said, okay, you throw the dart, and wherever that dart lands, that is where we are going on vacation this year. So she threw it, and apparently we're spending two weeks behind the fridge. <laughs> on the other side of things, on the other side of things, Janine got me a thesaurus for Christmas last year, and it ended up being defective. I opened the thesaurus, and it was all blank pages. I didn't have the words to express how angry I was. <laughs> all right, on a serious note, really, on a serious note, we are doing something, Janina, we're doing something a little bit different this year. We kind of want to look outside of our own family and um, kind of thinking of others. So, so on a serious note, if anybody knows somebody that is, uh, you know, lonely this Christmas, 
Maybe they don't have any family and friends. They don't have a, a Christmas dinner to go to and nobody's coming over to see them. Please let Janine and I know who they are because we need to borrow their chairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That that is that is that is the end of my jokes. Really, really, it is. I <laughs> I, I do I do want to just close out on on a real a real serious note. And and first of all, I, now I can I'm I'm glad I can add stand up comedy to my resume. <laughs> And, and there are a lot of other talents we saw tonight that could be added to resumes, right? <laughs> but I do want to close our time on, on a little bit of a contemplative note. Um, for most people, you know, Christmas is just a, a time of year to celebrate, exchange gifts, I, I guess just express happiness in, in general. And while those are good things, the reason for, a Christ, for Christmas, as we have sung tonight and, and uh, uh, reminisced about, remembered tonight, is really, it is about God's goodness to all people. And um, Luke 2, 10 and 11 says, And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Now, I, I, am, I am convinced that that is true. That is, that is an actual fact. That is an actual need that we had that God fulfilled. And I have contemplated on that. I've, been, I've investigated enough that there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that it is true. But for the greatest portion of the world, um, they have not contemplated, they have not investigated it, and therefore either don't know it's true or don't, don't care if it is or not. But what if it is? What if, what if it is? And I have spoken to quite a few people uh, about this, and with each doubter, I've always left them with, or at least tried to leave them with one contemplation. And this is it. And I say to them, now, if, if you are right and the Bible is wrong, then I'm still okay. I, I've got nothing to worry about, okay? I, I, I've, I've, I can still have a life that is joyous, eventful, profitable. However, if, if the Bible is right and you are wrong, your eternal destiny is, is hell. It's, it's separate from God. You've lost everything. So, so what if, and this is my question to, to you tonight, what if it's true? What if you're wrong if you have a view other than what God says in his word? What if the wrongs that we have done and we, we, we know that we do every single day have really separated us from the holy God who created us to be with him. What if, what if God wanting to remedy our problem for us really did send his own sinless son to take our penalty and save us from our sin by dying on the cross in our stead? What if, what if the gift of God really can be received simply through placing our trust in him and what he's done for us? Well, that would most definitely be some, some good tidings of, of great joy, just as the Bible says. What if the Bible really is the word of God? given to us so that we can not only know him, receive the solution to our sin problem, but be with him forever. What if, what if you contemplated that, investigated that? What if, what if you placed your faith in him tonight? You know, if you, you're, 
other than biblical view, if your other than biblical view is right and the Bible is wrong, you're still okay. You've lost nothing. You can still have life, a life that's eventful, profitable. But if, if the Bible, if the Bible is right and you are wrong, your eternal destination is at stake here. Especially when there are others, many in this room, who have contemplated and investigated it and know beyond a doubt in their heart that it is true. And that the truth, it conforms to reality. It rings true. It, it, it's real. What if you believed and trusted in him tonight? Well, what would happen is Jesus himself, he says in, in John 5, 24, he says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who has sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Our sins are forgiven, paid for. And you, if, if you will trust in him, you are given the gift of life after death in God's presence. That's what's at stake here. Heaven. Because of what Jesus has done for you. In John eleven twenty five, 25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And that is why the angel said, do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And I'll turn the time back over to John. songs uh, before we wrap up our time uh, tonight. So if you would go ahead and stand with us again, we'll sing We Have a Savior. Thank you, guys. Through the sun. 
seat and um, we do have one one final uh, skit for you tonight um, but before we do that I just want to thank everybody um, just for the participation of tonight all the work that went into um, making everything look so beautiful out there with the tables and the food and just everybody's volunteering that happened tonight I just want to thank everybody Hey, Santa, what's up? Hello, Pepper <laughs> Santa, you're looking at me like I'm on your naughty list. Well, I was in my office counting my toys, and I realized I was one kerfuffle short. <laughs> I believe that you stole it. Uh, but Petar. Petar. <laughs> I started making that toy in 1969. 
<laughs> what will all the doll departments of the world think when they wake up Christmas morning with no toys under the poison oak? <laughs> no, 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 Santa. I would never steal such a moist toy. <laughs> no. Well, were you that, or where were you then the night before Christmas? <laughs> Let me tell you. I was with Telemachus. Uh, we were listening to Eminem, <laughs> his new holiday album, and uh, making snow flamingos. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Then why is it that Rudolph saw you spelunking on the roof 12 parsecs before that toy went missing? I, that sounds like it's just a coincidence. Mm. See, the reason that I work so hard is because I get to spread joy to the millions of people, and at the end of the season, I get to sit back by the fireplace and enjoy freshly baked cookies and drinking hot toddy. All right, all right, all right, all right fine. I did steal a toy, but I only did it because I wanted to impress my senator. <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> Every time there's a Christmas miracle, I like to sing my favorite Christmas carol, Jingle Elves. Jingle, jingle elves, jingle elves, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-quinch camel sleigh. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you.